Okay, we have a dishwasher that is just not working. It's not even powering up. Prior to dying, it's been making the door open sound every 30 minutes. None of the buttons are doing anything. So I want to take a look at this and see if there's any loose connections or if I have to replace a part or the whole dishwasher. First thing I'll do is I'm going to check the breaker. It is on. We're going to turn it off. All right, now we're going to have a look. That screw out. Got that one out. I need to take this whole board out. Okay. All I have access from now is this bottom one. So before I go the rest of the way and just yank the rest of the stuff out. I am going to give it one more shot. Doubtful, but turn the power back on. No lights on here, so I don't think it did anything. The idea is to see if a loose connection is the cause of the issue. Okay. Turn it back off. I'm going to remove the rest of the junk in there. Got these gold screws. We're now working to gain access to the main control board to see if there's a loose connection there or if we have to replace the whole board. And then there's this guy over here. It feels a little bit bigger. Yeah, it looks a little bit bigger. We've got a 516. time pulling this down. So this sticker right here, it's holding it up. There we go. That sticker out of the way. Take a look at the rest of what we got here. So this is the board, and I'm just checking all of the pins here, and they all look good from the top up here. So the back side. Now I hate to do this because I think I just need to replace this board, but it's going to take a couple days for me to get the board, so I'm just going to try it, uh, reconnecting everything and see if it was a connection issue, but everything felt somewhat okay as far as the connections go. So I'm just going to reconnect the board and power it back on to see if the issue was just loose connections. Nice click. This one is going to be interesting too. Three clicks and there's two on the bottom. Got this one that we pulled out of the way. Alright, so everything is connected up. I'm not going to run anything. I just want to turn the power on to see if we get any lights up here. No. Still no lights. So we're going to have to order a new part. At this point, you can disconnect the wires again. Okay, we have the old control board here. And in this box is one I just ordered. So the first thing we need to do is take off the screw on the old one and the little pins holding this old one in. Okay. Okay, now I have the new board in place. Okay, well, let's try to install this. So 
So before I put everything back together, I just want to turn on the power. Okay. So I've got the new control board in, but unfortunately that did not fully fix the issue. The issue seemed to come back in a week or so later. It was working for a little bit, but then I got the 815 error again. So I shut off the power, and this time it looks like what I'll need to do is to replace the control board, the computer chips that are underneath the buttons here. In order to do that, we're going to have to pull the dishwasher out of the area and unhook up the door. Uh, so we'll give that a shot and see how this turns out. Okay, so I have it just off enough where I can get access to these. And that's all I need to pull it out. If I needed to pull it out much further, I might also need to unhook up the electric or the water supply or the supply to the uh, disposal. But since my connections are just long enough, I didn't have to do any of that. All right, this is what's holding the door on. So this is unhooked now. Take it off. It's going to be a lot heavier without those supports on, so just be prepared for that. All right, the door is off. Okay, there is a bolt right back there um, that we need to take off. some screws on the side here that I got to take out. It looks to me like this T25 Torx head should do it. Got to do the same thing to the other side. That one took a little bit of power to get out. So all the screws are out, so I should be able to take off this back section from the front section of the door. There we go. So once you get it up as far as you can get it up, then you need to pull it back. Got that side. This side. There we go. Okay. So I can take this big metal piece out of the way, and this is the side I want to work on. This is what I want to have access to. Okay, we got four one quarter screws or bolts to get out to gain access to our board. First, got to unhook the board up. All right, now we can blast these out of here. slide this piece out. There we got it. Okay, so now that I got this off, I need to pop it off the plastic bezel of top piece off the top so I can get access to the board underneath. I'm just gonna slide a screwdriver down. Okay. So now the top bezel is off, and we have access to the actual board itself. Okay, so now we can take this old one out. Okay, and I put this to the side. And this is the new one, and we can't just drop it in here. These new ones have a jumper system on the back that the older one doesn't have. You can see there's nothing here. 
but this has this here, and this makes this board more reliable, is my understanding. So, we have to look up on this chart to see how we need to set these boards. And so we got to look up our model number. Mine is the GDT695, and you can verify this on the inside of the dishwasher right here. 695 is what mine starts with. And if we look at the chart, the number 4, which is the second one here, has to come down. So let me see if I can pull this up to gain access. Okay. And actually, I'll just do this as I'm pulling them off. Uh, so with mine, this needs to cover both those pins. Let's just put it right over both of these. All right, now we'll pull off the second one. Okay, and the board, this is gonna be the different one, says to place this one just over the bottom pin, like that. See, it's lower. And then both of these two, I line up with the same dimension as the number eight. Cut these off at the same time. Since they're both the same, I'll just put them on at the same time. All right, now I have this configured. You can see it matches the diagram. That pin is blank, that pin is blank, the others are all covered. Okay, so now I can drop our new board into our housing here. We got this put back together. We can slide this back up. We can hook this back up. Hook this one. back up there. Take a bit of strength. Got that one. Okay, got that one. All right, now we want to hook this back up forward and hook the wire off out of the way. I push it back in. I want to give it some power and hope it turns on. Hey, hey. New LCD display. I like that. All right. Let's turn this back off and finish moving in place and batten everything up.
Alright, so I got my electric cover that I can put back into place. Love that sound. It's the sound of a working dishwasher. <laughs> 